Okay, boys and girls, welcome to another amazing episode of um, Infinite Series and whether or not they converge. So today's um, topic is things that are ridiculously infinite, clearly ridiculously infinite. That's the topic for today, so it's going to be super easy. Take a look at this beautiful sum. Um, what in the world is happening here? So this is the sum of all the four, starting with one and all, going all the way to infinity. So if I was to go on and write this clearly, ridiculously infinite sum, it would be four plus four plus four plus dot, 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 all the way to infinity and never, ever stop. So how much would you get if you were to add four plus four plus four? It's so clear. Um, this is ridiculously infinite. Um, this would be equal to infinity times four, which would be equal to infinity. So clearly, there's no hope of this thing ever, ever converging. We would call this divergent. Um, it goes all the way to infinity. Okay. I can't believe I get paid insane amounts of money to do this. Okay, how about this one? Summing up once, infinite many times. This would be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Plus one infinite many times that would be equal to infinite many ones of course that would be infinity that's ridiculously easy it's infinite it diverges even if it's a super 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 small number like 23 michael jordan with a bunch of zeros it will still be infinity times 0. 0.00023 and of course that would still be infinite and so um doesn't matter so you can you can almost um, this should be motivation for the test that we're about to explain right now. This test is called the divergence test. And it says, if you're not adding something that's really, 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 really close to zero, like infinitely close to zero, not just this close to zero, but infinitely close to zero, forget about it. There's no hope of convergence. So in other words, take a look at this one. This one, after a while, let's think about this. After a while, and I mean a long while, this n is going to get really, really, really big because n is going from 1 to infinity. So you're going to have 1 plus 4 divided by something that's really, really big. This is going to be really, really, really close to 1. Right? This number that you're adding is going to be really, really close to 1. So this is going to be um, 1 plus 4 over n is going to be really close to 1. So adding up 1 plus 4 over n will be very similar to adding up a bunch of 1s. If you add a bunch of ones, what happens? You get infinity. And so there's no hope of this thing converging. The way we're going to phrase the test is going to be in the following way. Um, take this limit right here. Find the limit. The limit is n runs towards infinity. The limit of n runs towards infinity of 1 plus 4 over n, that's equal to 1. Okay. Therefore, the summation of all the 1 plus 4 over n's looks a lot like summation of all the 1's. So therefore, the thing diverges. Clearly diverges. It's ridiculously divergent. How are you going to get something finite if you just keep adding 1's infinite many times? Come on now. Um... That's the, that's the logic behind the test. Now, in practice, a lot of people, a lot of textbooks, a lot of tutors, a lot of spouses will just skip this step. People who don't know what's going on here or they don't want to, they just use the test blindly. They'll skip this step and they'll say, oh, this is not equal to zero, then diverges. So they'll just say, if this is not equal to zero, you stop right there and you just go to that step, it diverges. But this is why, this is why you're doing that. Okay, so the way we're going to do it is we say, so in practice, this is what it would happen. The limit as n runs towards infinity of 1 plus 4 over n is equal to 1. And that's not equal to 0. And therefore, there's no hope of converges. So it clearly diverges. That's why it's called the divergence test. If it was equal to 0, then all bets are off. Maybe it converges, maybe not. There's hope. So this test would never, ever help you prove that something converges. It would, the conclusion of this test would either be diverges or who knows, maybe, maybe not. 
Does that make sense? That's why it's called the divergence test. It can only conclude that something diverges. It cannot conclude that something converges. Um, it can only conclude that there's no hope of convergence. And so it's real easy to apply. Here, for example, I will take the limit as n runs towards infinity for sine of 1 over n. Whoa. No, I don't want to stop recording. What? All over 1 over n. The limit is equal to 1. And 1 is not equal to 0. Therefore, there's no hope of convergence. Now, let me just show you a case where the divergence test is inconclusive. Suppose you met this cute little problem on the street, and someone asks you, hey, does that converge or diverge? And it runs from 1 to infinity. And you say, I know. I'm going to apply the divergence test. Take the limit as n runs towards infinity. 1 over n, that's equal to 0. Uh-huh. So, that, so, therefore... Uh, this, this would be the summation of 1 over n's is a lot like summing a bunch of zeros as n runs from 1 to infinity. Well, they're really, really close to 0. So this is like infinitely many zeros. What is that equal to? Well, who knows? That's an indeterminate form. So all bets are off. In this case, we can conclude that the divergence test says... Uh, divergence test is inconclusive. Those are the only two options. If the limit is not equal to zero, you're done. There's no hope. There's no step two. If the limit is zero, well, then it's inconclusive. We don't. We, you should use some other test. Um, don't use the divergence test. It's inconclusive. By the way, this one you can do using the integral test. You can see this monotone and decreasing and continuous. So therefore, this behaves a lot like um, the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x dx, which is equal to ln of x from infinity to 1, which is equal to ln of infinity minus ln of 1, which is equal to infinity minus 0, which is equal to infinity. Boom. This is actually divergent by the integral test. And it's actually super famous. It's called the harmonic series. Anybody who is somebody knows that. Um, which is so interesting because you know its close cousin this one, 1 over n squared, is actually finite as n runs from 1 to infinity. The basal problem. This is actually something finite. Uh, it's actually equal to pi squared over 6. Boom. Nobody, no one could solve that problem for hundreds of years until my buddy Euler solved it. If you pay extra, maybe someday I'll show you. This is a super fun problem. Probably one of the funnest problems in the entire universe of problems. But anyways, I digress. Uh, back to the divergence test. You can only conclude two things, either... It diverges or the test is inconclusive. That's the only two options. Okay, let's do one more. This one, again, um, I take the limit. As n runs towards infinity, 1 over n, 1 over n, that's equal to 1. By the way, I'm doing it fast because I've done this like a gazillion times and we did it on other videos. So I'm not going to show you unless you pay extra. Well, no. Well, in case you're new to the channel, maybe I should show you how we do that. Uh, if you plug, if you just try the plug-in method, limit as x goes towards infinity of 1 over x raised to the 1 over x, you get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate. So then you try the ELN method, ELN 1 over x raised to the 1 over x. This is still the same thing. All I did is use this trick where you use the E and the LN. To rewrite it in a different way, that gives you E... But now you can bring the this thing over so that be, and you and you can bring the limit up so it becomes a limit of ln of 1 over x all over x as x runs towards um towards infinity um and then you can maybe do i don't know um let's just focus on this piece yeah limit Let's put a negative 1 here, ln of x all over x, as x runs towards infinity. That gives you infinity over infinity. So then I'm going to apply L'Hopital. So that gives you limit as x goes towards infinity of 1 over x all over 1. That gives you 1 over x, x going towards infinity. That gives you 1 over infinity. That gives you 0. So 
So all that, that part goes to zero. So this becomes e to the zero, which is one. Boom, told you. See why they pay me? So this one goes to one. Um, and then you can conclude since one is not equal to zero, then you can stop. There's no hope of convergence, it diverges. Simple as that. Whew, you got all that? All right, this is famous. It's called the divergence test. Um, so easy. Okay, I think that should do it for now. Come back for more. See you guys.